I'm all about that bump, about that bump. Hey guys, welcome back to All About That Bump. We are already in week 17. This has been a really busy week. We went on a vacation, just David and I, to Savannah, Georgia, met up with our friend Vanessa there, and had a really great few days. I wasn't nauseous at all I was on the trip, so that was really exciting. I did get sick on the way home though because the plane ride, there was a lot of like jerking and movements and stuff like that. I got so sick that I couldn't even walk. And those little special things at the airport, they're like go-karts or whatever, the ones that beep really loudly. They came and picked me and David up and took us to the next gate, which was really nice of them. Also on the airplane when there was like a lot of moving around and stuff, I could feel the baby kicking. And this is the first time where I'm like, okay, that is for sure a baby. Like, I think in the past I thought maybe it's a possibility that I was the baby kicking that early, but I think it was too early on to really know for sure. So I feel like this time it was like, okay, that is definitely a baby. It was so nice though, cause David got us a hotel room. He like kind of upgraded it to where we had a, like a little whirlpool inside of our hotel room, which was absolutely awesome. So he's basically the best husband ever for that. All of my pregnant ladies out there can understand, even if you're not pregnant, you're just a woman. Whirlpool tubs are just awesome. I got my first ever maternity clothes. Well, not first ever, ever, but first ever this pregnancy. I got some from Pink Blush. I don't know if you can tell. You'll see this top when I show you my bump, but now it's pretty much gone away completely, but headaches have come into full swing and I swear I get them like every other day. So I just have to make sure that I, you know, take something at night put like a washcloth on my head and just go to sleep. If I just close my eyes and go to sleep, it helps a lot. I've pretty much been able to eat everything, but the thing that I crave the most is definitely ice cream or frozen yogurt or gelato or anything in the frozen milk dairy section. I feel like I have to end every meal with something sweet or else I get sick. And I'm not using that as an excuse either, I'm serious. Like I feel sick if I don't eat something sugary at the end of my meal. Oh my gosh, the thing that has been like the most intense this week has definitely been the abdominal pain and discomfort. Oh my gosh. I thought it was bad before, but it's definitely bad now. And I know that I've said it, I feel like my stomach is growing every week, but this week it is noticeable and it feels like it's stretching. The movement this week though has made me so excited for the weeks to come where I'm gonna be able to feel him or her move even more and more intense. And David will be able to feel, and the moment that Eden will be able to feel, I feel like will be like the sweetest moment ever. I can't that. I will show you the belly. All right, it's kind of hard to show you the belly in this shirt because it's so flowy. So I'll try to like tighten this so you can kind of see the actual slow out of the belly. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you tell I'm pregnant? Because I feel like it's definitely noticeable. Well guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can watch next week's episode of All About That Bump and keep track of my pregnancy. I have a lot of fun videos coming this week, so I hope that you guys will stay tuned. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. choose either one of the names. We're just looking forward to finding out what the gender is.